Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. I have a little guest in my studio tonight. This is Rosie. Do you see yourself? You see yourself? She's looking at herself. Let's see, look at the puppy. Y'all, this is Rosie. And hey, things are gonna get weird tonight because as soon as I went to broadcast, it would not let me. So, um, I don't even know if I can see your comments. Let me see. Nope. I can't see comments. Um, we're not on, uh, we're not on YouTube. We're just on Facebook. But this is Rosie, and she's just going to be here for a second. She's a little girl, and she's so sweet. This is Rosie's moose. This is her moose. She loves her moose. Um, we got Rosie, um, not this Sunday, but the past Sunday, a week and two days. Um, Herm's a sweet girl. She is. She's a sweet girl. She's doing really well. Um, oh, hey, Judy Ann. I can see comments. Yay. Hey, Angela. I can't wait for you to meet Rosie. Hey, Janet. Um, yeah, we, we can't be on, um, YouTube tonight because we are, um, for some reason it won't broadcast. Hey, Lisa Oliver, this is Rosie, and for some reason today I've been calling her Rosie Sophia, with an accent, mm -hmm. yeah, Rosie Sophia, but she's a really good girl, and she's tiny, y'all, like, this is my hand, that's how little her bony head is. You want to look, you want to look in front, right there, you want to see, you want to see yourself? Her little tongue sticks out, y'all. She is the sweetest baby, and let me tell you real quick about her. She, um, she came from a Boston Terrier rescue in Tennessee. Um, thank you, Janice, and hey, I'm so glad all of y'all are here. It's going to be a weirder thing because it won't allow me to broadcast tonight, um, and I pay for that service, so this is the second time it's bombed on me. I'm going to have to get in touch with them and find out what's going on. Um, but yes, yeah, she's a cutie. She came from a Boston Terrier rescue in East Tennessee, and um, we actually had a transport bring her. Everything was done over the phone and online and all this stuff. We had to jump through a bunch of hoops, and I'll tell y'all, she, look at her. I mean, who would not love this baby? She's just laying against my chest. We might just do this tonight. This might be what we do. I don't know. I didn't expect her to be so happy to just be hanging out with me. Um, well, I kind of did. She's she's good like that. But y'all, let me tell you real quick. Um, the vet um, gave her a moose. All right. And if you're um, Lizzie and Aaron friend, you'll know what I mean when when I say it's a really big moose. <laughs> but y'all I asked the vet because I mean we're looking at it, it was a really expensive visit because we took both puppy dogs and I said do y'all have any kind of new puppy care kit or anything and the the girl says because I mean I thought it would be nice to have a little bag of treats or something for her that day um and the the girl says well let me go see oh hey Tammy and Oh, thank you, Tammy. Look how little. This is my hand. That's how little her little bony head is. Um, and that's her face. Don't look at my arm. Look at her face. Because she's so cute. Um, anyway, so she said, well, let me go talk to my office manager. And she came, she came back with the moose. And she said, okay, disclaimer. If she eats it and we have to take parts out, it's not our fault. And I said, no, she, we're not going to do that. You know, she might give it a squeak act to me at some point. It's definitely been loved and licked and chewed. But, um, but no, she, she hasn't chewed through it or anything. Look at her. She might just have to sit right here for the rest of the evening. I'll tell you this about her, too. First of all, she loves a nest, all right? So I've got, um, I got a couple of things on the floor of my closet that I just, I just keep there 
like footy pajamas. I mean, I know that's silly, but y'all know me. I mean, yes, I will wear footy, footy pajamas when it's really cold, right? She has dug those out, plus a blanket, and made her a nest in our closet. But we want her to sleep with us, so I made her a nest with a quilt, and it looks like a donut. It, I just made a big circle. She is in it every night, and she loves it. But y'all, she's just sitting here, look at her, being so good. I'm just so good. I'm just so good. Oh my good, y'all, I can't stand it. We just might have to do this tonight. So when my grand girl comes, she she just pets her like this. It's so cute because her little mouth. And see that little tongue? She has to stick her little tongue out. So she, like I said, she came from a rescue and a breeder had um, had given her up with two other dogs because they said that she wasn't, um, well, they didn't really say, but I think it's because she's so small. Mm. She can't produce a lot of puppies, and she's no good to the breeder. But they did not know. She has a soul of gold. I mean, she is just the sweetest baby. And we still have Mila. She's over here on the floor. She's a little crazy, so she's not. And I know I'm out of the picture, but it's not about me. Right? Right? Okay, baby. We gotta get to crafting. Can you go see Daddy? She says, I don't think so. Can you go see Daddy? Okay. Okay. All right. So, we're about to get to crafting. All right, baby. There you go. And, y'all, she has a nest over here on the floor of my studio. And um, it wasn't enough that she had the blankie. She also had to go um, take a little... A little piece of rug it we got two little rugs in the bathroom excuse me in the guest bath yeah she had to take it um, okay so let's get crafty um first of all I want to show you a pair of eyewear as y'all know right this is my crafting um, frame that I kind of thought went with the shirt I'm wearing but I don't think I've ever shown y'all this part the sunglasses okay darling but what if you want to be fancy with your sunglasses? Girl, you just put them on like this. Okay. Y'all, pair of eyewear. I'm, I'm so happy with these things. I have so much fun with them. And I have um, cheap reading glasses that I switch to when I'm not wearing my pair. And other than that, um, other than that, I wear all the little pair things. Does anybody remember this from back in the day? Who had one? Tell me in the comments who had one. That was easy. Mine still plays after, what, 20 years? I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to try and do this. It, it's unplanned. It's kind of like I didn't know this was going to happen tonight. Because, sorry about the cleavage, but we're all friends, right? Okay. I mean, who who are you if you aren't friends with cleavage, right? Probably everything's backwards. Oh, hey, Brenda, you missed the puppy. You got to, um, let me, let me see if I can make this. Um, sorry, I know, it's a whole lot of me right here, and I would never have worn a tank under these circumstances. But I did not know, all right, I'm just trying to get my, hmm, this might not be it. Nope, that was not it. Oh, that was not it. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, that might be right. But y'all, apologies for... Oh, dear. Something just went flying. It's just going to be one of those nights, y'all. I have no idea what just came off. Hold on. Oh, good heavens. Oh, goodness, y'all. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to get you in frame here. Um, no, it needs to go this way, this way. Oh, <sighs> doggies. Okay, let's just get crafty. All right, sorry about everything. It's just the way life is tonight. And now I cannot see your comments unless I do this. Hold on. Because apparently it wasn't enough for you to see cleavage and arms. Um, apparently you have to see the belly too because I just had to stand up. It's okay. It's okay, y'all. It happens, right? 
Okay, now, there we go. Okay, yes, Brenda, you've got to watch the, uh, the replay. And, y'all, thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. If I have not seen your name, and um, let's see. Angela, Lisa, Janet, Janice, Tammy, and Brenda, and Lisa, yes. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, I'm going to get busy right now. Okay, y'all, so this, my granddaughter came over, she's 13, she came over and painted, not painted, she drew, she just got a little artsy in my, in my studio, right? She drew this, and she's 13, but I love it, I just love, love, love it, I love so much about it, and I cut it out because I'm going to make a card with it. Then she drew this person shape, and then she drew this little cute little doggy and I was like this is so cute so I used my um my um die cuts and I cut this out please do not tear okay good who doggies I did a lot of pre-work on what we're doing tonight um this is her little picture okay and and I don't even know, I don't even know how this card's going to turn out, but we'll see as we go, won't we? These are the rectangle stitched dies that are probably retired still. I don't know. I think what we have now are the, um, it's a different one, but y'all, buy shaped dies and keep them. Unless you have an electronic die cutter, which would be perfect. Okay, we're going to glue this on, and y'all. I'm doing, this is not the card tonight. This is, we had the puppy dog show, and then we have the granddaughter art show, and then we're going to do what we had actually planned to do tonight. There might be a couple of puppy dog hairs on my, on my table here. But y'all, um, Rosie is an absolute dream come true we are loving having her here having her a part of the family the family being me and papa Bo, ninja man um i'm telling y'all i would have worn something different i mean it's a it's a miracle that i even have a bra on to be honest but you know we're we're all friends here okay um thankfully i do i do have one so um yeah, so we're not we're not having to indulge in all that. Okay, I gotta trim this down a bit. And what I decided to do was create a card with her artwork for her to give a friend. And it will be a surprise for her that I did that with her artwork, right? So because she's got like a ocean theme going. I decided to use a um, embossing folder that looks like ocean waves. Um, oh, Lisa, look at you sparkling. Girlfriend, let me tell you, this this top right here is probably easily 12 years old. I mean, easily. All right, we got to trim this a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, but... I didn't know I was going to be, you know, showing all the things, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's see how close I got that. I am kind of, um, kind of going through this a little quick, quicker than normal. Um, let's see. A little more off the side. You know, you can't, you can't really put it back on, but you can show enough cut it off, right? That's what they tell me at the hair salon. Not like I ever go. Okay, Lisa, Lisa Oliver and I were talking about that the other day, the other night, um, the hair salon and, you know, the whole whole thing. Do you cut your hair? Do you let it grow out? We don't know. All right, so y'all, you see how this layer is going to be? I've got it tilted so you can see the pattern. Okay, so we're just going to put this on here and... Okay, we might have to let Rosie guest star in the beginning of all my videos. Maybe. Maybe. All right, it's just white on white, okay? All right, so now we're going to put this on. Like I said, I don't even know how this is going to turn out because 
I didn't plan it at all. I'm just trying, I just tried to get some colors good together. And um, I, I don't want to move this, but I have to move this so y'all can, y'all can see it. Okay, let's see. That looks pretty even. And it's going to open like that. Y'all, won't she be surprised? Hey, Gloria Wolf. I did. I showed you Rosie. You have to see her at the beginning of the video because she had to go do other things because I can't hold her in craft too. I've got to look and see where I want this. Hey, friend. Or hey, friend. I kind of, mm, if I put it in that corner, she's even used um, textured on, texture on her clouds. This is my 13-year-old um, granddaughter's artwork. She does not know that I'm making a card out of it. Heidi, hey girl, thank you. I I think she'll love it. She she enjoys giving a friend a card. I think I'm just gonna put it like that. And being teenagers, I think hey friend is fine. You know, um, I, I think so. I think that's a fine sentiment right there. Hey friend, that goes if she wants to just say hey or if it's a birthday or whatever the occasion, she can just use this little hey friend. And that's her card with her artwork. Won't she be surprised? Um, I was thinking, I wish I could use that too. Y'all know I can, right? Hmm, hold on, hold everything, oh. All right, hold on. We can so use this. Gonna cut there. Uh-oh. Get on out of here. <laughs> um, hold on. I have to think, y'all. This is so, so unplanned. It's okay. I have crafted under more unusual conditions. When we were living in our RV for my, grand, my other grandchild, who is nine, when she was uh, in treatment for cancer, she, she is nine now. We lived in our RV because it just, it just made sense. Life was, life was crazy and we had to do something to accommodate, um, travel back and forth to Atlanta. Anyway, I crafted in the RV. Um, I don't know y'all. I don't know. I'm going to leave this here and think on it later because Y'all, here we go. We got this and this. Now, I do like it on there because it continues her artwork. So, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it, y'all. I'm just going to glue it on there. I am just going to glue it. Um, but it was so sweet. Um, they live down the street from us now that, you know, the crisis in life is over for the moment. Um <laughs> I'm always careful to say for the moment when there's 11 people in your family, you know. Um, I just kind of say for the moment. But anyway, there we go. I'm, I'm just doing it. Just doing it. Um, oh, y'all, thank you. Heidi said she will love it. Brenda said she's going to love this card. Heidi will think I have the coolest grandma. Heidi, that is my goal in life, is to be the coolest grandma. And sometimes I think I've aced it. Sometimes. I don't know. Okay, y'all are definitely getting a whole lot more than you bargained for, but there are no refunds. I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's this, you know, it is what it is. Okay, y'all, we are using this stamp set tonight called Lighting the Way. It is retired, but listen, there's technique in, a technique in here that I can't wait to show y'all. These are um, some lanterns that I made a while back that I just keep in here because I can. You see the whole the whole die cut cuts it out like this, okay? But then you can trim off the edges and you can get that funny looking one that you take camping, right? Okay? And um, if you notice, this one has some um, opaque paper. Uh, come on, come on. Gloria, you can tell me. Vellum, vellum, ha, I got it. This one has vellum in it. Okay, but we're going to do something a little different than all of that, and I shall show you. But I have done a lot of work to begin with, 
pre-work, okay? Okay, so this is the card I made back in the day, and I actually made it on a live, and um, I just loved it. I just thought it was super cute. Um, basic, I can add a sentiment. It can be a guy card. It, it can be pretty much anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, but if you notice, it has like a glass globe. The little globe has glass like that vellum. And this is this is clear. And then this is very shiny. And it's it's raised up. You see how thick this lantern is? Um, oh, Brenda remembers when I made this card. Yay! Okay, so we are we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques. This is all about technique, okay? Here's my banana clip from the little girls at the um, farmer's market on Kid Market Day. Okay, so there's a couple of things here. Wait, we're going to put all the pieces over here. All right. And now, I had to make notes because I did not know it was going to be crazy tonight. And I wouldn't be able to do all the things I wanted to do um, because of the internet problems or whatever. But... Here we are. Okay, I'm gonna use the little the little bag of crack. <laughs> it's called an embossing buddy. There's some kind of powder in here. It could just be baking powder. It could be, I have no idea, cornstarch. I don't know. But it keeps your um your electric electri static static electricity keeps it keeps it down. Okay, so here we go. We're going to we're going to use Versamark, and Versamark is a watermark stamp pad, as many of you know. Heidi remembers when I when I made this card, and she's used it herself. Yay! All right. Um, where's the die cut? Hold on, it was right. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, right here. So, I kind of, I kind of just need. Let me grab something to make marks with. I kind of just need like. Uh, here, here to maybe here, right? Okay. So I don't have to heat emboss the whole thing. All right, let's, let's get that powder back. Let's make sure that I've got, not that it really matters with this particular technique, but, you know. All right, so we're just going to ink all over here, all over it. Oh, how I wish I wore a t-shirt tonight. Because, y'all, everything starts moving. <laughs> when I'm bouncing my little, <laughs> my little Versamark pad, everything's moving. It's okay. It's all right. So, y'all, I had to go to the dentist today. And I was in and out in no time. But I'll tell you what. The lady that, that uh, took care of me, she is absolutely gorgeous. And um, her makeup was, she's, she's a, a young black woman. Her makeup was perfect. She, I mean, she just had it all going. And I'm thinking, why are you not like a movie star? Why are you not like a movie star? I don't know what it's like to go through life being absolutely stunning. I know what it's like to go through life being funny and kind. But, <laughs> but stunning? No. All right, y'all. <laughs> but I, I did tell her, I said, when I grow up, I want you to do my hair and makeup. I did. She just laughed. All right, y'all. So I'm just putting black embossing powder on here. There's two techniques we're doing with this lantern. All right. One is this. Come on now. Come on. It's a little tricky when you do a big piece like this. Just a little tricky. I don't want to waste a bunch of stuff, but by the same token, yeah, it'd be alright. Okay, you see I made a little mess, but that's okay because, because, because we've got a way to clean it up. I love this little guy. Amazon. Amazon, baby. All right. 
Just want to make sure that I'm in the right neighborhood, and I am. Okay, so we need this. Um, now, see, typically y'all would not see all the business end of this part, but um, but here we are. Okay, here we are. Okay. All right. Just gonna heat emboss it, and you see it's a dull powder. I love, this is my favorite technique. I always say it's my favorite technique because it is. But I can't really, can't really say much while it's doing it. The, the heat gun does have to get pretty hot and it takes, you know, a few seconds to do that. And I don't know if you can see how it's getting um, shiny, but it is. But I also have my ceiling fan on because I get hot and shiny. And, um, oh, Janet, thank you. Oh, good, Heidi, thank you. I'm glad you can only see my hands in my shirt because, let me tell you, <laughs> there's 65 years of wear and tear on this frame over here. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. We've got a couple of lumpies in there, but it's okay. It's all right. All right, so you see how shiny we are now? Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Now we are going to put this guy on here. Cool it off a little bit. There we go. And boom. We're going to stick that down. Get our little guy here. Make sure... I'm just making sure that this piece fits over that, and it does. Oh dear, let go. All right, hold on. Okay, gotta lock that down. We're just gonna trim. I'm just gonna trim to make it fit on my on my um, little cutting plates here. Just trim it down a little bit. But y'all, uh, okay, I have been watching. This show, I posted it on my private page, my whatever Facebook page, not not here. Um, then I'm watching this show called This Is Us, and it's six seasons on Netflix. And okay, I know I'm I'm behind the curve on it, but let me tell you why. It came out when my granddaughter was in chemo. Oh, Heidi's cutting material. What are you making, Heidi? Um, I assume you mean fabric. Um, oh, sorry, y'all. Everything's sliding around. I know I'm behind the behind the craze, but when she was in chemo, I, there was no way I was going to watch anything that serious and tear jerking. I already had serious and tear jerking, and um, I just needed rainbows and unicorns. You know what I mean? So I did not. I did not watch it. Um, but I've been watching it this past week or so. I'm in season two. Y'all, if you have not watched it and if you're in a good place, <laughs> I mean, if you're going through something big, don't watch it right now. But because it's got its ups and downs. It's it's a family and it's it's what the family goes through. And Man, it is something. Uh, it makes you cry. It makes you smile. It makes your heart swell. It's all its all the feels. But it's called This Is Us, and it's on Netflix. And I know most of y'all have, um, have seen it. Come on out of here. Now, quit acting like that. Rude. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, see? But we can fix that. Okay, so now... We'll let that sit there. Let it, you know what? It's going to think about what it's done. That right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just fix that little piece right there. Right there. Okay. That's too big. I just got to put a little piece of tape here. So I'm in season two. And, um, I mean... Last night, I couldn't go to sleep because I, I was just so, I don't know, I was, 
I was kind of, um, I, I don't, it, it's not like I was super sad, but it was just kind of sad. Um, and, and it kept me from going to sleep. But guess what? I'll be watching it again tonight. You know I will. Okay, we're going to take this piece of um, acetate. And let me see how I did this earlier. Okay, we're going to, we're just going, I know you can't really see it, but um, because I can barely see it myself. All right, I'm just going to make a little, if it's, I don't even know, yeah, it's, it's drawing. Hard, hard to tell right here, but it is. It's drawing. Okay. Oh, dear. Hold on. Part of it didn't. Come on now. All right. Right there. So Rosie's over there right now in her um, layer, layer, one of her many layers. Rosie has made herself several layers um, where she has... Um, She's made a nest, and right now she's over there in her nest, you know, thinking about her moose, I guess, because the moose, all right, y'all, I'm not having to follow the lines exact because I just need a tab at the top and at the bottom to hold that center in, all right? Um, so I'm just kind of following the a suggestion of the lines. Let me get this off of here. And we're we're gonna actually have to cut a second one for the for the next technique. The one with the packing tape. You know what? Y'all don't even know that because I was putting that in the description of the um the one that's supposed to broadcast and it didn't broadcast so nobody knows but yeah we're going to use packing tape tonight and you you'll see how in a little bit okay so there we go we've got our our shiny glass in the lantern okay and let's see might need to trim it just a little more yeah probably or did I turn it upside down? Please hold. I might have turned it upside down. Goodness, it's hard for me to see, y'all. Yeah. No. I got to trim that right there. Now, watch me screw it up, but here we go. It, I mean, it's just plastic and paper, right? It will we'll make it work. We shall make it work. All right, hold on. Okay. Hang on, y'all. It shouldn't be this hard. It's just because it's just because it's hard to see against this glass thing a thing. All right. So you probably can't see it, but I I can I can see a little bit. All right. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape there to hold it on the top. And I'm going to put a piece of tape. Hold on. I got to do a little trim right here. Oh, so, what was it, Sunday, Sunday evening, yeah, Sunday afternoon, the boy, our son, called and said, hey, we're taking the kids to see a movie, do y'all want to go? Y'all, when your 38-year-old son calls and says, do you want to join the family to do anything? I mean, they could have gone spelunking, and I, I mean, I'm not going to spelunk, but I'm just saying. When he calls and invites you to be a part of the family get-together, you do it, right? Um, let's see. Heidi is... Oh, Janet loves the movie, the, the show This Is Us. Yes. Heidi is cutting fabric to make some dang it dolls. Cute. This Is Us is a very good... Yes, Heidi, it is. Yvonne, hey there. Um, I'm doing good, Yvonne. My, um, my broadcast isn't working tonight, so we're a little, we're a little off. But, um, but we're here. Be sure and go to the beginning so you can see, um, after, you know, do the replay so you can see Rosie at the beginning. She's way too cute. We almost just had a rosy night and not even bother with crafting. Um, but yes, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so our lantern for that is done. Now, that's one technique. And what we did, we just, um, heat embossed with black and die cut it 
right? And then just added the acetate for the globe, the glass part. Okay, so this is where we get into the tape, all right? Now, you don't have to have a circle. This was just a piece of extra cardstock I had. This is the packing tape, y'all. We've all been there. We've all used packing tape, right? Okay, I pulled a little extra off because I want it to be super clean. Just going to place it on here like this. Just like that. Going to trim it off. Now let's see if I messed up by trimming it. Get out of there. Get on out of there. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so I put the, the packing tape down, and I'm smoothing it onto my cardstock. Now, you can use any color cardstock. I just decided to use black. And this is just a, a fun, different way to get that shiny lantern, all right? So it just happens to be the width of the packing tape, okay? Now... We're just going to cut the sides a bit. Get rid of that. We're going to use this. Lay it on here. Put this on right here. Come on now. Come on. Y'all see I keep my little, my little tape set I'm using. I keep them like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so um, we're just going to run this through here. Y'all, we had Sunday a week ago, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <coughs> we had, I don't know, was, was it ever upgraded to a hurricane? It doesn't matter. It acted like a hurricane. It might have just been a tropical storm. But y'all, there are areas in the Savannah, Georgia area that are still underwater. I mean, it's bad. It is bad. Uh, there we go. I always want to say, Gloria, where'd I put it? Gloria made this. All right, now. She made this pokey tool. Just gonna poke out the parts. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I need to get my water. There we go. Now, y'all, this particular lantern is exactly, I mean, the tape, it's exactly, oh, sorry, the, the right width, okay? Like, what is that? Two inches? Let's see. Um, just under two inches. Like, we're getting into the sixteenths. But yeah, just under that. Okay, so I'm going to put this up. And I want to show y'all, this is the one with the black embossing powder. And this is the one with the tape. Okay? So whichever one you want to use, you can use. Now, I had already cut out a bunch of others. Um, Heidi, Brenda, once I get them made, I'll see if I make a video. It's hard to explain. Yes, Heidi, do that and send it. You can probably post it over here. If not, send it to me and I'll see if I can post it and I'll tag Brenda. But you got to remind me it was Brenda that asked. Now, this is quite a bit shinier, but you still get the same effect, okay? Okay, okay. So as you see, I have already done a lot of cutting out. Oh, look, these I actually made before tonight. Like, I don't even know when. Okay, we're going to try and do this one a little bit better than that last one. Oh, uh, let's see. I need that. In that okay so I'm just gonna cut this right here and 
Now I could use the vellum for this. However you want your little however you want your little um, lantern to be, you could use vellum. You could use like a maybe even use would it be alcohol markers on vellum? I don't know. And color it yellow if you want. But we are going to give it a yellow background like this. Okay? So the yellow is going to be there. As if it's lit up. I think of all the times we have camped. Um, we used to do tent camping. We went from a tent to a 40 some odd foot fifth wheel RV. And um, I've I've only I actually posted this the other day. I've only just recently started missing camping, um, and I talked about it the other night um, on one of my lives. It it was it was a thing, y'all. It it was a thing, and I I was uh, not not a fan of travel day. Okay. Um, some people are difficult to camp with, and um, I did not know that I was one of those people, and yet Ninja Man is one of those people too. So um, probably best that we don't, you know, try the whole fifth wheel setup again. All right, hold on. Okay, probably best that we don't try that again, but we did survive it, and, um, you know, marital wise we survived nobody nobody real called a real lawyer <laughs> uh, uh oh hold on okay we're gonna tape that there and we're gonna tape this here um Heidi Kathy I'm trying to figure it out please hold <laughs> Brenda I miss camping we camp lots when the kids were young. We did too. And we went from this tent and I mean, it was, it was a big tent. And, um, you know, did, did I love getting up and down off of a blow up mattress? Why no, no, I didn't. Um, and especially when, you know, we'd used them so many times that they just started leaking. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. But, uh, but I was younger, right? And I could get up I could get out of bed, right? But now it'd be like, mm -mm, no, nah, somebody bring the jaws of life. Okay, y'all, I cut a bunch of these and we're going to stack them and glue them together. Um, this is a technique that um, Jennifer McGuire uses all the time. She makes a very thick something, something, so she doesn't use a lot of, um, a lot of the um, foam adhesives. She just Piles layers on. And I don't know which one I like better, y'all. But this is the masking tape te tape technique. I'm I'm sorry, you know what? Maybe if I turn it no, if I turn it that way, it might I might stay in frame better. Um, this is the masking tape technique that I really think is so cool that it's it, not masking. Packing tape. Packing tape. I, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one the um the heat embossed because it's a little shinier that's the only reason i mean you could do whatever you want right okay let me get my little oh come on hold on here it is here it is i got this little piece um this is a hobby lobby cooking thing um not photopolymer whatever it is y'all know um, from Hobby Lobby and I just got it in the cooking department and it works so we're just gonna start putting some some glue on here come on now come on rude all right hold on we're gonna stack these this will just take a few minutes to do and you don't have to get crazy you know you just put some glue on there to just kind of get the thing to connect and stay put So today, um, I, well, I don't know if I told y'all, I think I did on one of my lives, that our grandson, he's 15, 
We live down the street from the nine-year-old grandson, the 13-year-old granddaughter, and the 15-year-old grandson. And um, the other grand girls live um, in the Atlanta area, kind of, sort of, not really, but that's the best way I can explain it. Um, come on now. Hang on. I got a little, got a little crazy over here. I'm just going to trim this off because nobody will ever see it. It's going to be hiding. I didn't line it up that well at the end. So our grandson that's 15, he's been homeschooled and he's a sophomore and he went to public school this year. Y'all, he's doing great. He's loving it. He's already making friends. He's, um, and I mean, he's extremely mature. Most homeschool kids are, no, no offense on public school kids, but I mean, he's, he's just very mature. And I didn't want to miss this part of his, of his, this experience of his life, but I'm just the grandma, you know, it's not like I'm there every day or whatever. I mean, I could be, but we're, we're not, we're not shadows of my son's house all the time. Matter of fact, we, we rarely go up there. Just, you know, they got a young family and they're busy and, you know, we, we hang out sometimes, but we're not in their house every day, okay? I'm not that kind of parent or grandparent. We are not. So anyway, um, I asked him, I asked the grandson what his favorite drinks and snacks are because I would like for him to come down. I said, you can come down after school, have your snacks, um, do your homework, whatever. Now, why is that getting wonky on the bottom? I don't know. We'll just keep going. Um, have your snacks, you know, have, have a, I got him, I asked him what his favorites were. He gave me a list and I went and got all the things on the list. And, um, and it, it's so sweet because he comes in about 3.30 in the afternoons and he goes out and he gets his drinks or drink. He'll, he'll get a, he wanted cherry Cokes. And we got him some cherry cokes that are only his, nobody else's. And um, he gets to he gets to come in and have a little snack and a little treat after school. And y'all, he tells us about his day. I mean, oh my goodness! Uh, silicone, thank you, Heidi. Silicone baking mat. Yes. Hey, Joanne, I'm so glad you're here, Joanne. You need to go to the beginning after I'm live. After I'm after I'm done. And see that puppy. She is way too cute. It was almost a whole rosy night and no crafting because she's too cute. So um, anyway, he comes down after school and he tells us about his day. And y'all, it it's quality time. I mean, it's not, he doesn't hang out for hours, but he, he probably 20, 30 minutes and Y'all, we laughed tonight, this afternoon rather, we laughed so hard, and we're making memories. I mean, it's just a snack after school, but we are making memories, and I love it. I absolutely love it, just to be a part of his life while he's, you know, in high school, right? He'll be driving next year, and this may be all we get, because he might be too grown next year. I, you never know with teenagers, right? At some point, they might they might just be too grown. And um, I definitely I definitely cherish this time that we have with him. But we did we laughed so hard today. It was so funny some of the things that we were talking about. All right, hold on. I got a little glue on my glass, which is not real glass. Yes, great memories. Brenda, yes. Janet, yes. And oh, I remember what I was going to tell you. He, he's so cute. He throws himself down on the sofa. Now, let me tell you about my sofa. It's second hand, y'all. It's, I don't even, I mean, I've got this old something over it just because I don't know why. It's, it's not really to protect it. I don't know. It's just this row that I put over it. 
and he throws himself down, and I think that's fine because, like I said, it's an old sofa. I don't even care. And he said, you know what? I said, what? He said, your house does not look or smell like old people house. And it's so funny because he told us we were old people, I don't know, three or four times, which was hilarious. He's like, oh, we have old teachers like y'all's age. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so glad you do, buddy. But, yeah, he, he, he said our house did not smell or look like old people. And I'm like, that is the greatest thing ever, right? Because I remember going to my grandmother's house, and we talking some old people, all right? Okay, this right here, you know, last week I showed y'all the technique of doing that deer, and he's over there in the Christmas pile, um, the deer kind of jumping around the moonlight, and this... This is the same technique as far as um, brushing this on, but I'm not going to be masking it. Like last week, I put a circle down and blended around it, right? We're not doing that this time. And I'm, I'm looking at it to see where I want it. I want it right about here. Now, I do want it concentrated in the middle. Um, you know... We didn't want to do that last week because we wanted it to blend a little better. But if you if you look at this, it's really dark in the middle where it should be, and then it gets lighter around, right? Okay. So that's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. Yes, great memories. Um, I, I'm just, I'm so grateful that we're having this little bit of time with him. Um, we're just, we're just getting all the, all the blessings out of it, y'all. I mean, really and truly. Okay, so you see how, see how that is concentrated in the middle? And we're putting the glass globe over that, because that's where that, the, 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 the majority of that light's going to be from. Okay, we're just going to glue this down. Look how thick this thing is, y'all. I mean, it's it's like one of those, is it Joe Lee's, um, the chipboard almost, that you buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, like for scrapbooking and stuff. It's that thick. And like I said, that's a Jennifer McGuire thing that um, I, I use that, this technique sometimes just because I enjoy the effect of it. Um, it might cost a little more to mail. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Hold on. We, we don't want to put that on there yet. I mean, we should, we can, but we're going to, we're going to do a little stamping. I forgot this part. Okay, this is Daffodil Delight, and these are little stars looking things. Okay. No, they're not stars. They're little bugs bugs and we're just going to go there and let's see I think I want to go like this and then maybe oh, let's do it this way maybe like that yep Okay, so we got that done. And this is the simp, simp, Simply Chamois thing. Oh, y'all, I've got a Stampin' Up! order that's coming on Thursday, I think. I didn't order much. As a matter of fact, I didn't ever order anything out of the new mini catalog that is just now being, I don't know, it's not even, it's not even available yet except to demonstrators. I just don't need a lot of stuff anymore, y'all. We have a little lightning bug. Hold on. There it is. A little lightning bug. Okay. And we are going to put him at the... Let's see. I need his little lightning part to be here. Sorry, y'all. I, I got to look close at it. So I can't show y'all quite yet. Hold on. But I'll show you. I'll show you. We're going to put this one on the fat one and see what happens. There we go. 
Okay, there we go. Little lightning bugs. Little lightning bugs. Okay, let me close that ink up because y'all know what's going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can put this guy back on. That was close. I almost boo-booed because if I'd put this on first, I wouldn't really be able to stamp as easily as I can when it's a flat surface because this is going to get in the way. So we want to we want to add this big old thing at the end. Oh. All right, let's see. This sorry y'all, just a minute. I'm having to concentrate. Okay, that'll do. That'll do fine like that. Now, the fun part here is this little bug right here is probably going to get covered up. Um, I'm just going to color their little, their little lightning parts right here. I'm going to go ahead and color his even though I think he's not going to make it because I'm not done with the card. See his little, the little lightning parts? And you could do those kind of in an orange if you want. Now, I'm not seeing any more comments. Are y'all still there? The last one I see is Janet. There's Gloria Wolf. Hey there. It says Gloria Wolf is watching. I, I know you were already here. Oh, hey, baby. Do you need to come back? Y'all. <laughs> Rosie. She's so sweet. Okay, y'all. Still here. Good. Thank you, Janet. All right, y'all. So I'm deciding if I want to put these on here. I did not use them on, on my last card right here. Did not use I, I think I'll just set this. Maybe I'll set this right here. So, no, hold on. I don't know where to put it. Whatever. Okay, I'll bring it back out in a minute. I might, I might do this, but then it's, it's gonna, it's, mm, okay, all right, hold on, hold on, let's, let's put on a couple of these guys, or maybe just one, I don't know, I'm deciding as I go, y'all, we're just gonna go ahead and put this, we're gonna mat this, all right, and put this down on Yowler. Yeller. And for those of you who typically watch on YouTube, I'm sorry, but our broadcast did not go through tonight. So we're only on Facebook tonight. That's, you know, the, the best thing you can do when you're doing live videos is be flexible. Just don't let it, don't let it ruin your night because, um, it's just not worth it. You know, um, it just isn't. I mean, it, it's unnerving, and it kind of throws me, but I'm like, come on, it's just crafting. If I was teaching y'all how to do brain surgery, I might be a little more affected by it, but um, I'm not, because we're just, we're just hanging out, right? Okay, I am doing more layers in my, in my bases. This one, I have a black card, okay, black base with a yellow and then that white layer. This one, I'm doing a black layer with the yellow and the white and a white card, a white card base. So it's going like this, which really, I don't know which I prefer. Um, Brenda says, cute, all rosy, thank you. Yeah, she's so sweet. And Janice said, where did the lantern die come from? Oh. Okay, it is in this set. Hang on, I show you. Uh oh. All right, we're gonna go right there. It's this set, um, Janice. And Janice, if you want to borrow this when when I see you at the end of the month, let me know and I'll bring it. Um, but yeah, it's it's the lighting the way and I'm sure it's no longer available from Stampin' Up but um, 
you know, you can, if you want, if you want this for yourself, if anybody wants this kind of thing, you know, to have in their stash or whatever, um, and, and y'all, I had already pre-stamped and cut these out. Okay, Janice, I will bring this when I come. I'll put it in my, in my stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, and Janice, think about the colors you might want to use. You might want, this is Old Olive, you might want that. You might want, um, Daffodil Delight or some kind of yellow that you like. And then black. I, just think about the stuff you might need with it if you want to make it all there. Um, anyway, I had already stamped and cut out these, um, leafy pieces the leafy pieces I'm just going to put them up right quick while I got this out okay and then these are all the dies and Janice I want to show you this too um, I showed this at the beginning but I'll show y'all again this is the lantern with the um, vellum for the globe which is really cool and this is the same lantern with these edges cut off. It's more of the kind you would hang, well, either one, but this one just makes me think of, of a campsite. I, I don't know. And then this, this was tape and this, this one and this one were the, uh, packing tape. And this one is the, um, heat embossed. Okay. So, I'll save that for Janice. Y'all, we, um, if you're local to me, you probably are part of our little crafting group that, um, we, we meet up and, and craft together. And, um, Janice is one of my friends that we do that. Okay, this, this is why I went ahead. That was, that, did you see him hanging on? He wants to go. Um, this is what I was thinking because... Okay, if if I were to stay on the white, the white layer, before I layered everything, I was having trouble fitting this on because it wants to, you know, it needs to bump up here and I don't want to, I don't want to raise it up. So now that I've put everything down, I can easily add it to the, to the whole thing, right? Because I've got more layers down and it's okay that it goes over the layers like that, right? Now, I'm just curious. Hmm. I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want... I just want these two. That's all I want. That's all I want. Uh-oh. All right. Here we go. But, yeah, I was going to say, if, if y'all want um, a lantern-type die cut just google it and there's probably something else out there in the market that I mean not with stamping up but somewhere somebody's bound to have a die cut like this or similar to it because it's pretty generic lantern right okay we're gonna do that and um I don't, I don't think I'll put a sentiment on here. One of these things says, follow your dreams. Now, let me tell you this. Nowhere in the Bible does it tell us to follow our dreams. If so, I'd probably, I don't, I, I, I probably would not be, I, I don't know what I would be. I didn't dream a lot when I was, before I got married at age 17. I didn't dream a lot, but um, let me tell you, if, if I had followed anything else, it wouldn't have been pretty. Because it was the 70s, right? Right. Okay, let me just show you this little wasp-looking bee thing hornet um, lightning bug. Look at his little wings. They're vellum. Okay, and his little body. This is how he's put together. He's got the little black... Hold on. Where'd it go? He's got the little black, and then the vellum wings, and then the yellow middle. And he looks like that. Isn't he cute? 
but I'm not sure he's going on this card, y'all. I wanted him to, but this guy is the problem child tonight. Yeah, I, it just, it doesn't fit. He just doesn't fit. So we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it just like this. Boop. Oh, hold on. Of course he fits. Right? We're going to put that there. We're going to put him in here. Oh, okay. You're the one that wanted to go, aren't you? I think you are. All right. Yeah, we're, we're going to do this on the inside. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, Heidi says, look at Memory Box for a lantern die cut, y'all. Is Memory Box the name of the company, Heidi? I think it is. It's familiar, but it's not one that I typically go to because I forgot about it. Y'all, I think it's a company, Memory Box. And uh, Heidi says, look there for a lantern die cut. But Janice, I want, I'll want i bring this for you, okay? I'm going to bring this set for you. Okay, yeah. This this is this is too cute right here. And I, I'm not going to put any um, glue on his wings because, first of all, I don't need it. Secondly, it'll show through. So I just put it on the black, the black part and the little body. But the wings, as you see, boop, right? They, they, they're not glued down. Okay, y'all. So this was our, our um, unplanned. I mean, the projects were planned, but it sure wasn't planned how it turned out. Um, if you're late to the party, please start over with the replay. Um, oh, Heidi says Simon says stamp. Oh, I get it. Memory Box makes, probably what she's saying is Memory Box makes the lantern, and Simon Says Stamp carries it. Am I right, Heidi? Thank you for the love and the hearts, y'all. Where am I going? Right here. Okay. So, if you're late to the party, please watch the replay and see my puppy. She is adorable, and she didn't, she wanted to be here the whole time. And this is my 13-year-old's artwork. She just sat here and doodled one day, and I turned it into a card that she can give a friend. And I think she's going to love it. Um, Heidi says, yes. I assume that's right. Okay. Thank you, Heidi. Um, thank you, Janet, for being here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for all the things. Um, I can't wait to see you in October. Anyway, um, this is what we did tonight, and y'all... I really, really love this technique. I love, I love the simplicity of it when it becomes something so cool. You can make a bunch of these in advance, and they don't have to be thick and layered. You could have just, you could just put one down, right? I mean, it looks fine. Okay, guys, that is it. Um, I don't know how I stayed in time. I, I really don't. Um, but let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, thank you guys for bearing with me because this was weird. It didn't do my YouTube, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, start over at the replay so you can see my puppy and you get all the, um, stories, everything I shared. And thank you all for being here tonight. Um, Brenda, thank you. You too. Everybody have a good night. Um, Janice, yes. The packing tape trip. It, it's good for every, all kinds of die cuts. And I haven't tried it on one wider than two inch, two inches like if you have a seam with the packing tape haven't tried it but i mean i don't think it'd be that big a deal i think it'd be fine um other than that y'all have a blessed week i will see you on tuesday unless i do a pop-up my stampin up order should be here thursday i only ordered one thing um that i would that i would want to share i mean the rest of it was utilitarian like cardstock and stuff like that but um i might i might go live and show y'all what i ordered and um i don't know so y'all have a blessed week thank you so much for being here god bless and toodles